this web tutorial, we're going to go ahead and discuss some of the things that you're going to come across in the PowerPoint Module 2 projects. The first thing you might see is inserting word art. And so that's on the insert tab. You can click this and then um, it'll tell you whichever um, fill it, you, that you need to select. Um, if you're not sure, hover so that you know exactly what you're selecting. So we'll go ahead and do this and then we'll go ahead and put driving here. Now you have a lot of options here like text effects. You have shadow, you have glow, you have the transform. You might need to do this triangle down. All of that's there. Um, you have a lot of other options, some text outline. Just know that these features are here. When you select your uh, word art, you have that drawing tools format box. Let's talk about format painter. So this is one of my favorite features in um, Microsoft Office because um, if I wanted to do all of these settings right here, I changed the font, I, I un made it unbold, I did the italics, let's go ahead and make it underline, and you, you say, I, I want to do that to this, this line as well, but I don't want to go through all that steps. Well, the cool thing is you can actually click the Format Painter and then select and notice that it copied all of those settings for me. Now, if you, wanna, if you need to select multiple objects and you want to keep this format, you can double click this and what it will do is it will allow you to select multiple things. But make sure you unselect this Format Painter. Let's talk about slide notes. Now, down here is your notes. Now, I can just type here, and that will add the notes. But you can also go to the view and change your um, view so that you have this notes page. And you can type and see a lot more. So um, let's. I have this photo here. But let's say I wanted to change this photo. Um, to something else. If I right click on this and click change photo, I can do from a file, online source, clipboard. Let's go ahead and do online source. We're going to go ahead and select dollar here and click enter. And it's going to pull up a bunch of image search uh, images off of Bing. And we'll click this one and click insert. Notice that the image changed here. If I wanted to put a border around this, notice I have this image selected. So I have the picture tools. And let's say I wanted to add this thick matte black. That's in the picture styles. We'll go ahead and do that. Something else that we can do is um, on the design tab, we can change our background. Um, so if I go to format background and I click uh, the picture or texture fill, I can click uh, from file or I can click on mine. Green here and we'll select enter. And this one looks like it would be a cool background. So we'll go ahead and click insert. And notice that it changes my background here. Now, another step that you might need to do is to change the transparency on this. So let's just do 30. Notice that it, it, it dims it out just a little bit. One of the things you might be required to do is two things. You might need to check um, to see if you have any spelling errors in this. So we'll click that. And it, it did fine my random gibberish text that I that I uh, typed in and, and how what words you could put in its place. Another thing that you might need to use is the the source. So instead of saying attention, maybe I wanted to use a different word. So we'll go ahead and put um, consideration. Sure, we'll click insert, and it changed that word for me. Let's say I have this slide right here, but I really don't need it anymore. What I can do is I can select that slide and then on my uh, keyboard hit the delete key and it will disappear. If I wanted to copy this picture right here or a shape, um, I could do the on the home tab. I can hit copy or control uh, C on your keyboard and then I can hit paste and notice that it, it gives me that same image. And then um, I might need to do find and replace. So let's say I don't like this word objective. So I can click find objective and let's replace it with purpose. 
and um, what we can do is hit replace all and it only made one change and it went ahead and put that there.